This is the visualization for harnessing the sage within. So resting in whatever position feels comfortable, inviting the breath in and out through the nose. Every exhale, slowing down the breath to let yourself turn within. Bring your attention to the low belly, into the pelvis, in this watery-like element of the second chakra where the inner child energy resides, where the emotional body is awake and alive And those emotions feel like water, like waves rising and falling. And we are equally unsuccessful with controlling them as we would be with the ocean. The wisdom of that inner child brings our awareness to something that feels off or unsafe. something that isn't fun. And the inner child will always speak to us and have the tantrum or tug on our skirt and say, hold on, I need attention, I wanna do this. However, that inner child within us, if we allow her or him to grab the wheel of the bus of our vehicle through life, then we'll be ruled by that emotional body rather than informed by it. A child is extraordinary when they feel a feeling An emotion usually comes with it. It rises and crashes through expression, and then it's over. Think about a child in your life or one you've observed where you can see that playing out in them. They're upset that they didn't get this or that. There's tears and screaming and upset, and then it's over and there's a new moment. However, if we allow that inner child to be expressed in the same way in our adult life, we might have some issues. We might have some challenges. And so what we usually do is suppress her. Maybe we don't allow the tantrum to be expressed as tears or screaming. But we still have that energy in our minds, in our hearts, in our bodies. And we keep our mouths shut. So there is another part of us. I want you to bring your attention to the third eye, a spot right between the two hemispheres of the brain in this higher seeing place of intuition, wisdom of your own, all your own, the ability to have that higher vision, to see the bigger picture, the sage within, who has learned so much through all the experiences that are uniquely yours. 
the part of you that no one could fully grasp, that only you can embrace and harness the wisdom within this energy. This is the place where we see the unfolding or we surrender to the unknown. This is the place where we can bring an awareness, a protective holding for the inner child, reminding her it's okay, it all works out. Or I've got your back. Even though this is tough, we're going to grow from this. Even though you don't feel like doing this, how you feel afterwards will be so empowered centered and fulfilled. Feel these two centers in your low belly pelvic area and the center of the brain. Feeling these two areas in your body bring to mind something in your life where the inner child very clearly says, I don't want to. Nope. And it's something that would actually be really good for you. Might open something unfamiliar, get you outside your comfort zone, but the inner child very much <coughs> says, no, I don't want to. Let a conversation start between the inner sage and the inner child. What does the inner sage have to tell the inner child What secret, what mystery of the wisdom of life does your inner sage know through your experience, through your expansion that the inner child doesn't? And how can she speak to her in a way that's unconditional support, constant, loving. Creating the space for that inner child to feel free enough to put down the resistance and imagine the feeling of healing, of love, of freedom, of adventure, of whatever that is that is possible outside of the reality that you've been living in. The inner child only sees what's been in front of her. Can your sage provide another perspective? Another possibility?
using your imagination and the power of that sage, that sixth chakra. Feel it. Feel that energy moving through your body. Feel the alignment within you shifting just by using your imagination. Letting any resistance, doubt, or fear just fade into the background of your mind. If you imagine it, you can see it. Paint that picture. Even if it feels like it's worlds away. And if you can see it, you can become it. Perhaps it's already within you. And it's not about striving for something new, but letting go of what has kept you out of alignment. Shedding everything that is not authentically you to emerge free Free, 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 unbridled, expansive. Allow your breath to deepen into that spaciousness of that freedom, of that feeling, whatever that is for you. Allow yourself to open to a new energy or maybe just one that needed to be dusted off. Perhaps something that's been in you all along. And you simply needed to let go and surrender or shed the projections from others, the expectations of others or the expectations from yourself. As you deepen your breath, feel yourself in the room, wiggle your fingertips and your toes, bring some movement back into the head, but before you open your eyes, receive the breath with the fullness of being here Being enough. Being fully in your mastery of where you are in this moment in your life, on your journey. In alignment with your unique truth. Owning it fully. Seeking to understand the depths of that. Surrendering the need to be understood by anyone else. But prioritizing the intimacy, the relatedness between this inner child that is so beautiful, joyful, playful, and free, creative, brave, 
and that inner sage. So patient and wise and understanding with unrelenting faith and comprehension of this great mystery of being human. See the two of them connected, eternally. And when you're ready, slowly come back and open the eyes.